I want you to know that the kind of systems we'll be focusing on in this unit are gases, and mostly ideal gases. Before we learn to analyze some thermodynamic processes, I would like to go over a few things. A function of state or a state function is a property of a system that depends only on the state of the system. So if I say something is a function of state, it means a given system in a particular state can be said to have a certain amount of that thing. Examples of function of state include the internal energy U, pressure P, volume V, the number of moles N, and temperature T. So a given system in a particular state can be said to have a certain amount of uh, internal energy, a certain amount of pressure, volume, a certain number of moles, and a certain temperature. On the other hand, the heat added to a gas Q and the work done on the gas W are not function of state. A heat reservoir is a body whose heat capacity is so large that its temperature remains unchanged when heat is added to or extracted from the body. It's like a lake can be a water reservoir. A lake's water capacity is so large that you can dump a few buckets of water into the lake or remove a few buckets of water from the lake and the water level in the lake can virtually stay the same. A pressure volume diagram or PV diagram is usually used to show changes in volume and pressure in a closed system. For example, if I have a closed system with a certain pressure and volume, I can plot that state on a PV diagram. When the pressure and the volume changes, I can plot a new dot on the PV diagram to show the new state. Because PV equals to nRT, for a closed system, the number of moles would be a constant. The gas constant R, of course, is a constant. That means uh, P times V is proportional to the temperature. So if you have two states on a PV diagram, states 1 and 2, we can just compare the P1 times V1 and the P2 times V2 to figure out which state has a higher temperature. The state with the larger P times V has the higher temperature. If P times V are equal, then the two states have the same temperature. If we wish to change the state of the gas from state 1 to state 2, we can do that in many different ways. For example, I may heat the gas up while first keeping the pressure a constant, and then keep the volume a constant. Or I may go through this way, or that, or this way. As long as the changes are made slowly enough, so the gas is always in equilibrium, we can plot the state changes on the PV diagram and we can see the paths of the processes. By the way, the reason why I talked about changes made slowly enough to allow a gas to stay in equilibrium is that in order for me to be able to plot the next and the next states in a process, the system will have to have one pressure at each moment. For example, I have a container with two chambers. One is filled with a gas and the other one is a vacuum. If I let the gas expand very quickly by removing this partition between the two chambers, there will be an even pressure in the gas before the gas can reach equilibrium and one pressure. 